Let's look at final exam, question number 44 in Trigonometry Demystified, second edition. Please refer to page 376 for the question and page 375 for the relevant illustration, which is figure exam-5. I have reproduced that here. Suppose that each radial division equals 100 units. Remember, the radial divisions in a polar coordinate system are concentric circles. Each one is 100 units, so that's 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. In this case, point Q is located where? Okay, well first of all we can tell the radius straight away easily enough. 100, 200, 300. The radius is 300 units. Well, the only choice that says 300 without any designators like degrees is choice E. So we can be pretty sure that choice E is correct. Choice B says 30 and 300 degrees. Well, normally we would indicate the angle first in degrees when we make the ordered pair for this. Choice B would be correct if we simply move that degree sign from the 300 over to the 30. But it's in the wrong place, so it is in fact choice E. Note 10, 20, 30 degrees. That's point Q's direction angle in this navigator's polar coordinate system. And the radius, 100, 200. 300 units. So the ordered pair alpha dash or alpha comma r equals 30 degrees 300. Again, choice E is correct here.